What's up, y'all? Yep, we did it again, Joe. We did it, Joe. We about to convert another Epson photo printer into a DGM printer. Yeah, it did. Um, same process, basically, uh, as the 2880 and as I feel like the 15,000. So this will be my third type of printer to convert to DTF. So stick with me. You know what I mean? It's the first time I'm going in here. I just got the printer. I just opened it up. Uh, so y'all seeing everything I'm seeing for the first time. Yeah, it is. So first thing you want to do, which I kind of jumped the gun, is uh, pull your side panel off. You don't need no screws or nothing with the 1400. You just get into the little grooves, pop that bad boy off. Yeah, you done with it. Um, I had a, somebody in my comments that said they can't, they can't uh, with me saying yeah, it is. So I told them, um, thanks for watching. Yeah, it is. All right, so when you first open the printer, you're going to see the waistline. The 1400 only got one waistline, which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. The uh, 2880 has two waistlines. Um, 1400 is a six-color printer. 2880 is a eight-color printer. But they both print uh, up to 13 by 19. Yeah, they. The more white channels you have, the faster the printer. That's what I'm told. So, uh by that theory, the 2880 should be faster than the 1400, but we'll see. It is. Anywho, so, yeah, you're going to see a clear line with a red line on it, and um, it's going to have a clip on it. Now, what you want to do, you want to get a good grab of, oh, I got my, uh, got my tube in here, too. It's already got an adapter on it. It's going to connect it to it. But you want to make sure you got a good grip on that clear one before you disconnect it because it'll shoot back in the print on you. So, pull the clip back. And you just got to tug at the line until it come up. Don't be, you know, be scared to tug her a little hard. It might take a little, but make sure you hold it on to this clear line because she want to pop back in there. So, Got my little clip. Take my adapter. Just push it in there. If uh, if you've been rocking with me for a little bit, then you know I can already see some ink up in here. <laughs> We're gonna flush that on out though. If you've been rocking with me, you didn't see me do this. It's the same. Same process. So boom, we good now. See, I can already see when I let it go, she shot right back in the printer. So make sure you have your line connected before you let it go. So uh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's how easy that was, y'all. But now, uh now on the 1400, I heard it was a a way that you didn't have to drill a hole. And you can kind of just Slide it back there. I don't know how easy that would be. Is this the hole they're talking about? Let me see. Yeah, you can't go through there. All right, so we're going to have to drill us a hole. Yeah, we just going to have to drill us a hole in the door. No big deal. Yeah, it is. All right, so here's the hole. Just drilled it. Small hole. Perfect. So, drag this dude here. And you just gotta snap your door back on. So, it should just snap back on up there. Hold up, let me check on. I want to take this clip off. All right, so waistline is done. It's that easy, y'all. So we just got to remove the rollers. All right, so same thing with the rollers. I'm going to, it's two different rows 
of rollers in here. So I call it the front row and the back row. So on the front row, I'm going to take out all the ones on the, in the middle and leave two at the end. On the back row, the exact same thing. Might take a minute. You got to get in there, dig them out. I'm using my weeding tool. I want to get a good hook on it and then pull up. Try to be careful so you don't get no parts in the printer, no lost parts. But that's what they look like. That's what the 2880s look like, too. So, yeah, I'm going to take all these out, leave two on the end of each row. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to come right back and holler at y'all. Yeah, it is. All right, so I got all the wheels out except for four total, two in the front, two in the back. Um, so now uh, I'm going to flush out the ink that's in here. So I'm going to put some cleaning solution in here. Yeah, it is. Uh, what I'm getting off this right now is a, uh, a blinking ink button. So what that tells me is that one of the inks are empty, or with two or three, who knows, or all of them. All right, so I got me some uh, refillable cartridge, auto reset cartridges here. Um, so I got two sets. First set here, I'm going to fill up with my cleaning solution, flush out all this old ink. Uh, the second one, I'm going to fill up with ink. So. Y'all know how that go when you've seen it before. So, that's what I'm going to do, and we'll be back. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, I got my ref my first set of refillable cartridges in here with the... Got my first set of refillable cartridges in here with the cleaning solution. So, I'm just going to close that. I got my waistline going down to my bottle. Hit the ink button. We'll see what happens. All right, so ink light went off. Running through a cleaning cycle. Now what I want to see is waste. Alright, so I want to show y'all that the waistline is working. That's black ink that just came through there. It was just clear a minute ago. Now it's black. It's running down to this bottle. Oh, that's really dark. But there's a bottle there. Waistline is working how it's supposed to. It's always a good sign. Nice. It's looking good so far, y'all. This is when you can start feeling all right, you know? But don't get too excited. All right, so now I'm going to fill my ink cartridges up with ink. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, run. I think I'm going to run two head cleanings with solution. Oh, I'm going to run it until I see that it's clear. And then we'll take it from there with the ink. I see y'all on the other side. All right, so we ready to fill up our ink cartridges. Uh, shout out. Oh, let me, let me get it in the frame. Shout out to Big Boy Inks. Inks by the Big Boy. Yeah, dude. Big Boy. Hey, Big Boy got the whitest of the whites. Big Boy got the whitest of the whites. So, yeah, that's what we rocking with. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Big Boy Inks. What we do around here shout out to big boy so that's what's going in this printer this is uh the most solid white um this is the most solid white that i have used so we'll fill her up yeah it is. shout out to big boy all right so um i just installed the ink cartridges now i ran a few cleanings now i'm installing the actual ink we'll see what happens yeah it is. well when i install the ink i'm gonna run another head clean and do a novel check see how it do Run another one if I need one just to get everything moving. So I'll be right back. All right, so I put my sublimation box here. Um, it started printing. Let's see what it's doing. I got my before we open it up. Let me see. I got my color twenty five white forty. That's how I got my cart shut up. But let's see. First time looking, I'm printing. This is what I'm printing a purge sheet. So, look like we got action, y'all. I'm gonna wait a little minute, see if we get some. Uh, wait for the color stripes to start. I believe that's just the white block. And I hope my exit tray is good. This one's a little different. 
than the 2880. It has a it has a hard drop on it. So I'm nervous about that film coming up out of there. So this is all the test run. Alright, so now we got colors. And the shirt layer. White layer behind them things. Yep. Looking good, y'all. Probably gonna up my white percentage. You know, coming from the 2880, I had more. Well, I use the 2880, so I have more white cartridges. So I believe that I can put my percentage down lower on that one. But with the two cards, I probably need to put it up higher. I don't know, but. So far, so good, guys. You've converted. The 1400. This is what we come to do, and it is accomplished. So, with that being said, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Uh, but get out there, man, make something. Yeah, it did.